Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we're going to be breaking down Teron Armstead in a film session, breaking down what he brings to his new team. Before we get started though, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video that would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So before we dive right in, we start with the stats. Last year, Armstead was injured for a good part of last year, only played 468 snaps, but nonetheless, only allowed one sack, three penalties, 75.9 PFF player grade. But, you know, when he's healthy, he is one of the game's best left tackles. Um, and, you know, he's a real guy that impacts both the run game and passing game as just a staunch and solid off the tackle out there. 2020 with with the Saints, he had an 86.3 PFF player grade. This guy is really, really good. Um, I mean, he's, he's one of the best left tackles in the game. Um, so let's dive into the film session and just show what he brings to the table. So on this play right here, obviously, Teron Armstead is going to be the left tackle on all these plays. That's his position. That's where he that's that's where he is on the football field. You're going to see him right here. And on this play, he's just going to be in a pass rushing uh, situation, right, where the defensive end is trying to get around him. He's one of the game's best pass blockers. Um, really, as I said, an elite left tackle in, in the start. And this play is one of those plays where it's just like, okay, this is just this is one of the reasons why. You're going to see how solid he is here in, in pass protection. Doesn't allow um, the defensive end to try and get around. Just uses his body and his legs for such a big guy. Um, he moves his legs really, really well. Uh, is able to move from side to side really well. Doesn't hold here. Just stays right in front of his guy and allows Jameis Winston the time and space to throw this absolute bomb deep downfield. Uh, for a completion, but this is just a really fantastic play here um, by Armstead. I mean, just giving, you know, the Saints off line on this play really does a good job, but just giving Jameis Winston the time that he needs, especially as that blind side guy, um, and really good technique too. U utilizes the arms really well. He's really strong with his arms uh, and is able to just use his body uh, to get in the way of, of the defensive end and the quarterback. So this is just, this is kind of what Toronto Armstead does on a daily basis. This is textbook left tackle stuff. And look at him here, work against arguably one of the league's best pass rushers here in Shaq Barrett, um, number 58 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And it's going to be simple, one-on-one, -on -one, Armstead versus Shaq Barrett. And Barrett's a fast guy, he's a quick guy. Armstead's a big guy, not exactly the fastest guy, uh, especially with his size. But nonetheless, just look at how, what Armstead does here. Number 72 in white, left tackle right there. Simply moving his feet laterally really quickly. And as Shaq Barrett tries to just more or less speed rush him, just tries to go right by him, look how Armstead utilizes his upper, upper body to push back on Barrett, pushing him this way, and then giving, you know, uh, Jameis Winston, you know, the time and effort, uh, I mean, the, the time and space, rather, for him to step up and make that play. Because as the pocket is collapsing right over here, if this play gets stuffed up over here, then Winston has nowhere to go. But because... Uh, Armstead does a really good job pushing uh, Barrett out that way. Winston's able to find that hole and is allowed to get out of the pocket and and, and make that, that turn up field. So this is a really nice play by Armstead. Just staying with Barrett, who's really fast, really quick, really athletic, staying with one of the league's best defensive ends. That's that's why he's paid the big bucks, Armstead, right? Because he's a great left tackle um, who's able to, at the end of the day, uh, stop opposing defensive ends at the highest level getting to his quarterback. And this is another play where Armstead does a good job here. You're going to see him, once again, left tackle. This is going to be nothing more than a screen play. So basically on a screen pass, what the offensive does is they give a couple, they they, they, they hold a couple guys at the line of scrimmage just to hold up the defense. So it's going to be Armstead right here. It's going to be his job. And then they're going to have the center normally pull and then the opposite side pull as blockers out in front. And then they're going to have the running back go out into the flat. So you're going to see Armstead here working once again one-on-one -on, -one on the outside defensive end here just trying to get to the quarterback. And the, the the art of a successful screen is there's got to be pressure up the middle. There's got to be pressure up the middle because, um, you know, the, the center needs to get out and, and block here. So there's going to be pressure up the middle, and that's good, right, because it allows open things to happen, right? It allows plays to open up. And simply that's what's going to happen here. Play opens up, and, and Kamar gets out into open space and turns up field. But you got to watch what, uh, what happens for... Uh, a guy like Armstead here. Armstead does a really good job just holding his block and just making sure that, you know, Winston has as clean of a pocket as possible. Doesn't allow his defender to touch Winston, is able to really take his defender out of the equation, um, and just, once again, 
be that blindside protector. There's a reason this guy only gave up one sack last year. Doesn't give up many pressures. Just a really fantastic left tackle because he can block in, in the screen passing times. He can block um, in simple pass protection. Um, and he can stay with the league's best defensive ends. And on this play here, you're going to see the block of the tight end. You're going to see the block of the tight end, and you're going to be like, that is a fantastic block. But what you don't see is the block by Toronto Armstead, number 72 in white, right here lined up. And the play here uh, for the Saints is going to be a pitch uh, to the left uh, with Alvin Kamara. And what that means is that you're going to have all these guys going this way, block this way, block this way, block this way, block this way. Trying to get the defense moving away from this area of the field. And then you're going to have this leading tight end block out here, and you're going to have the running back just follow the block. That's the idea of the play. And that puts Armstead in a very important position. He's the la he's the most left guy um, on the football field blocking this way, which means he's got to kind of set the edge and give his running back a little head start. Um, and that's exactly what he's going to do. This is a fantastic block uh, by a, a guy uh, like uh, Armstead because what the... What the, the Saints are trying to do here is they're trying to fake a counter play. And what they're doing by that is they're pulling this guard here over here to try and get the block and get the block this way. And this is supposed to confuse the defense, right? That's kind of the idea. Get the, get some of the defensive guys in the wrong places to then have that open space to the outside. And that doesn't really quite work in this space because uh, Nadamik and Sue kind of just doesn't bite on it. I'm pretty sure that's Sue over here. Doesn't really bite on that. And instead, you know, it's kind of a free-for-all. It's kind of a simple one-on-one -on -one with a blocker over here, um, a race to the outside. And who's going to win that? It's going to be Kamara. But once again, you got to watch Armstead here. What does he do? Does a fantastic job on this block here, making sure that it's kind of all, that's kind of, he's kind of sealing that edge. And although he does end up, you know, although um, this guy here ends up getting through, this is long after Kamara has already get, hit the hole. And you see how Armstead's guy, he is nothing. He's nowhere near. So Armstead actually does a really good job here just setting that 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 block and making sure that only this guy has a play at the football. Because at the end of the day, he can't cover two guys, right? He can't cover this guy and this guy. Picks the inside guy, which is absolutely the right choice because he's further away from Kamar from the start. Picks him, takes him out of the equation, and then makes it a simple one-on-one -on -one foot race to the end zone. Also, really good, really good block over here. But nonetheless, this is also a good play by Armstead, just doing what he does in the run game. Similar kind of idea here in the running game with the importance of Armstead. You're going to see him right there. And what Armstead's going to do is this play is originally designed to run to the to the left. So you're going to see this offensive line kind of pushing to the right over here. Um, but then what Armstead's going to be able to do is he's actually going to be able to seal a hole over here and then have the tight end seal a hole over here. And then Kamar's going to run through. And that's what you're going to see here. So as you see, off the line, moves out to the right, and Armstead's right there. If, I don't know if you can see him. Um, not the best camera angle on that, so sorry about that. But nonetheless, Kamara realizes this, this is kind of stuffed up. So he cuts back to the middle of the field, and what happens? This is a fantastic block by Armstead, taking his guy out of the equation. Once again, really good block by the tight end. And you see this is Armstead here, taking his guy out of the equation, making a hole for Kamara to run right through, as you see, runs right through the hole, and then picks up the first down. So this is a crucial block here by Armstead, setting that edge uh, for, uh, you know, Kamara to run through, creating that hole. He's a mover in the run game. He's a big guy. He can move bodies. Uh, this is a fantastic job. So Teron Armstead with the Dolphins is, is a perfect fit. And I think, you know, what we broke in today's film session is not only is he really great when you run behind him, um, he sets the edge really effectively. He's rock solid in pass protection, can stay among the league's best uh, defenders and edge rushers. But when we talk about specifically the Miami Dolphins and how he fits in, he becomes the immediate, you know, bookend of this offensive line. He he becomes the elite left tackle on this team um, or the elite tackle, depending on where the Dolphins end up playing him. Um, obviously, his position is left tackle, but maybe the Dolphins decided to play him at right tackle um, to, you know, help, uh, you know, to his blind side. But what I think the Dolphins will do is he'll they'll pl he'll play him at left tackle. They'll put Robert Hunter at right tackle. Connor Williams will 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 play that right guard spot. Um, and that's that's what the, those offensive line pieces will look like. I think the Dolphins um, are, are not done on the offensive line, and they shouldn't be done. They still need to add more talent, but this is the guy that they needed to bring in the door. If they didn't bring him in the door this free agency, their free agency would have failed. Uh, but with by bringing in Teron Armstead on, the, on this contract here, 
I mean, you get an elite tackle. You get a tackle that you can build an offensive line around for the next couple seasons. And sure, Armstead's getting a little bit higher in age. He's not the youngest player on this team. But nonetheless, he is an elite player at his position, exactly what the Dolphins uh, you know, needed, right? They needed a, a, a guy that they could count on at the offensive line position um, after having arguably the worst offensive line in the league last year. Um, and that's what they went out and get. So they're going to get a big help in the run game, a big help in pass protection. That's going to give two more time to throw, uh, more time for these talented receivers uh, like Jalen Waddle and even a guy like Cedric Wilson, who I like a lot, uh, to run routes and get open. I love this signing for the Miami Dolphins. It's exactly what they needed. He's going to bring so much to this offense. Um, and arguably, he becomes the best player on this offense. Um, you just know at the tackle position, he's he's among the, the best in the league, and that's exactly what the doctor ordered for Miami. Um, I think he's going to be fantastic, great fit for the Dolphins um, in, in in South Florida. Um, I think Teron Armstead is going to do big things for this Miami Dolphins off the line. Love the pickup, uh, but more importantly, what's he going to bring? He's going to bring an elite left tackle uh, in the passing game and in the run 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 blocking game. I mean, he can do it all. You can run behind him. You can run uh, screens for him. Um, to to get him out and run an open space and Jalen Waddle behind him, the 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 possibilities are endless with Toronto said. Um, and you know, adding him to the offensive line is just such a big boost for this Miami Dolphins offense. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.